Now, today's video is going to be quite a special one. Let's go take a journey to Samaden Airport. In this video, we will see planes and more, more planes, you know. Yeah, whatever. Let's just begin the video, right? <laughs> now, Samaden Airport is located in the Swiss Alps. It's in the Engadin Valley. It has a 5,900 foot runway, which is not too much considering its elevation of 5,900 feet. But that does not at all scare off the big boys from coming into this airport. Earlier on, I took a video of one of these big boys take off. This is a Bombardier Global Express. This one has an all black design, price tag $60 million. Generally, there is a very wide variety of aircraft that you can find at this airport. From gliders in the summer to that one Russian billionaire that likes to fly 737 into this airport every winter. The airplane that you will most commonly find at the airport is the Pilatus PC-12. Pilatus is a Swiss aircraft manufacturer, and the PC-12 was pretty much the most famous of their aircraft. And you know, dark aircraft just look very, very sleek. This is a dark blue one. We can also find a lot of Cessna Citations here. This, for example, is a Cessna Citation Mustang. And obviously, we have a lot of Gulf Streams at this airport. Now, about the airport itself, it is very, very open. There are quite literally no fences around the airport. There's even an open road, like, a few feet from the taxiway. And it makes this airport very, very easy to enter. And I actually wondered if you get fined for actually entering the airport. And you only get fined around 20 to 100 Swiss francs, which is not much. And you can tell quite a lot of footprints in the snow. It's very surprising that such a high-profile private airport is so accessible. Do you know there are just casually people walking their dog besides a global challenger? And at the main entrance of the airport, there's only two gates that vehicles can pass through. And this is literally the only fence that you can find at this airport. It's right in front of the apron. This airport also has quite a big parking area. Now you can definitely say that this airport is very spectator and spotter friendly. On the airport's website, you can even find the official schedule for the day, which is nice for catching big airliners. And that snow shot was not a good idea. Now obviously, since this airport is in the Alps, there's pretty much snow seven months of the year. And that's why there is a lot of workers making sure that there is no snow on the runway. You can also find a lot of choppers at this airport. Obviously, there are a lot of private flights, but there are also a lot of rescue helicopters. You know, just uh, rescuing some people from the mountains. Here I caught a rescue Haley landing on a nearby hospital helipad. And of course, this helipad has to be behind that wall. Oh, well. This is a twin-engine Dassault Falcon on its way to Russia. Now this airport is known for being a very challenging airport to fly into and to fly out of. Actually, a pilot requires special certification to fly at this airport. Up until recently, there was not even ILS. Also, you cannot fly in or out at night or at bad weather conditions. Now here I did some super slow motion tests in 1080p, so the quality is a bit lower. This is an Embraer Legacy. The Embraer Legacy is quite an amazing plane, or should we call it Embra? Now my day at the airport is slowly coming to an end, and the sun is going down. 
to say the least, this is one of the most interesting airports I have ever visited. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little spotting vlog or whatever this was. It was really fun to make. Um, follow me on my Instagram. I kept you guys updated on this project on there. I reviewed my face there as well, like a hundred years ago. And so, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.